Who the heck plays this card? What the heck? Oh boy, do I have the best duel of all time for you guys today. This is going to be the greatest pendulum mirror match I have ever been a part of. This is, was an absolute joy to be a part of. And you guys are in for some absolute sauce. <laughs> yeah, boy. And the sauce is not from me. <laughs> Let a, all right, my deck is the best pen deck, but my opponent's pendulum deck is some of the craziest shit I've ever seen before. So let's get straight into this video. If it's your first time on the channel, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. If you guys love my song, I want you to smash the subscribe button as well. And let's get straight into this video. This is some of the craziest shit I've ever seen. Also, if you're a fan of TCG or if you're a master player who wants to slowly get into it, check out TriffGaming.com and you get the best Yu-Gi-Oh! playmats and deck boxes in the game. Or if you're just a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork, then you get some very beautiful Pendulum artworks while it's on the site. Because very shortly, I will be removing everything from my site to make way for something new, which is a surprise. But that'll come shortly. All right. With that being said, let's get into the video. Let's go. This is the greatest pendulum mirror match I have ever been a part of. It's going to blow your mind. Let's get straight into it. Oh, man. So in the bottom corner, we got the pen god with his sky striker and demian. And in the top corner, we got Zephra. But it's not just normal Zephra. It's some crazy shit that it blew my mind. So he's going to start with a very classic Zephra. Zephra is going to send Zephra Nui. Wait, Zephra Thubin. That's, a, that's very interesting. But you're going to see the Symphonic Warrior guitars. Now, this is pretty common in Zephyr variants in Master Duel. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, you're about to see right now what it does. And it's all thanks to a bunch of cards that is legal in Master Duel. And Danglong is not legal as well in TCG. But I don't know if all this is legal in the TCG. Especially in Electro. This is definitely not possible without Electromite. So, boom. Definitely not possible in TCG. What this is going to end up doing, and now keep in mind, all the Symphonic Warriors, they're all machines. Okay, this is very important to, to, to note. Uh, he's going to use, he already pen summoned, by the way. He pen summoned like two monsters and made Electromite afterwards. So this whole combo is done by one. I almost had to sneeze. Uh, bless me in advance. All this was done with one Electromite post, post pen summon. Then gets to like, bring out the mics. And he's going to use the effect to bounce both of these back. And then he's going to make Barricade Blocker. At this point, Barricade Blocker is then going to send that. He gets an extra normal summon thanks to the effect of Mikes. And now, Guitars is going to bring out the level 4. The, sorry, the level 3. And because Barricade Blocker, which discards as cost, to just put it in Grave, after bouncing back, makes Oridon. So all you need to do this combo is just Oridon. All this extra shenanigans, like, it looks so bad, but one Electromite gets here. That's the beauty of it. And on top of that, it bounces the follow-up to hand. So you literally have follow-up, and it's going to put up an unbreakable board of one Oridon. What I don't like about this combo is it loses to one hand trap. So that's like what's so garbage, in my opinion, about that. But if you don't have a hand trap to stop it, you're cooked. It, this is all from one card. So that's going to go into uh, XL Synchron. Make, make this to bring it out that. With Denglong will trigger to bring that out. So keep in mind that he went through Denglong. He also played Dark Contract, which... If all you need to get to is essentially Danglong, is to make Tolis has to play this card. Now he's protected because of the Baron, but he's not even remotely done yet with this turn. And he's not going to search Lamia. He's going to search, search Didi Orthros. Summons. And then what he's going to do is he's going to synchro those for Shooting Riser Dragon. Shooting Riser Dragon is going to send Artifact Scythe. Now you might be wondering, Triff, it's in the graveyard. Who gives a shit? Well, Baron can actually bring it back in the standby phase. And on top of that, it's protected by two zephra counter traps it's inevitable i'm getting hit with scythe there's nothing i could do and it's literally protected by two zephra counter traps this game is it's unwinnable so we'll see what i can end up doing here i draw my hand is very broken versus anything but scythe <sighs> let's see if i can win this standby phase baron bring out scythe protects it with his ca two counters there's nothing i can do so how can i play through scythe now well this is gonna be a crazy match because look i'm never gonna give up i'll tell you guys that much so instantly i'm gonna go in the game i'm gonna draw one I would love to see like a servant. Talents was he did not activate a card in the main phase. Both Baron and Scythe were activated in the standby phase. So now I'm, I'm gonna play a game called Operation Make Sure Shooting Riser triggers ASAP. <laughs> or Operation get him to use his counter trap. That way he could trigger the Zephyr Nui to get a free search. So instantly right up here, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use another chain game to draw. Get into Jackal. I'm gonna upstart, draw again. Mastery, okay. So it would have been better a little bit earlier, but it's okay. I know mastery or server is going to get negated. All right, that's great. 
So use a Zephyr Divine Strike. All right, one down. And guess what? This is a little unfortunate currently because I have three spells in grave, but I need to get I need to get him to waste this counter trap ASAP so I could resolve engage. And that counter trap trap is gonna trigger Zephyr Nui. So I end up resolving engage and talents and souls. So I'm gonna use it all. Abductor, little bit late, little bit late, but it might force him to utilize a card. So instantly I'm gonna use souls. If I put the abductor in the scale, I feel like it might not get negated. It might not. So I'm like, let's just keep that there and see if he's going to do something to the souls for chicken game. Because if he negates the souls, that protects me from drawing, but also gets rid of a body. I didn't want to put the abductor to show him that I might have four spells in my hand. So instantly I'm going to use souls to draw. And he does use nine puzzles of the Yang Zane. Now this is great. I'm playing around everything. I don't throw a fact. You can't play around this shit. And I'm playing this shit like a genius. I'm even not wasting my normal summon. I know very well that a play might be talents to take one of his cards, Tribute Jackal, and then enter battle. So I might be able to clear like a bunch of this. So instantly he's going to negate that. And I'm so happy because it's finally going to let my talents resolve because he's going to send Zephyr Nui, right? Uh, but then he protects the Zephyr Nui. So I can't even use talents. I'm thinking, yo, am I getting stream snipe? Uh, I don't know if they watch me in the OCG, so I don't think so. But that's a crazy play there where my talents can't even resolve now. So now I have to do big brain plays just to get him to utilize Shooting Riser ASAP. I scaled up Doctor. He can't negate my engage now. So I go into engage. And what's engage going to get me? Widow Anchor. I can't go into Hornet because I'm locked because of Scythe. So I'm trying to just get rid of his field. I got rid of two counter traps. Sadly, it draws me the most useless card ever. All I needed was any spell. And despite all this scythe bullshit with double counter trap, Baron, shooting riser, with five, four interruptions, we'd be able to win easily. We needed any spell, so you get a trigger abductor, search high skill, pendulum summon. What are we gonna do here though? Is Widow Anchor? I'm, I'm thinking about how can I do this? What should I do here? I Widow Anchor the Orodon, specifically. At this point, sadly, he's shooting right. If he didn't shooting riser, he was absolutely cooked because my play then was so sick. My play then would be to instantly tribute summon my Jacko King. And when he, because of Dr. Love two counters, I would then negate his shooting riser and break his board and talents his hand. <laughs> I would destroy him. But he goes into Baxia, which is crazy because Baxia and Oracle Zephyr will both trigger. So he puts back my abductor. And on top of that, he stacks his follow up. I'm going to now talents. With talents, I'm going to look into his hand so he has no follow-up. I'm like, he's going to have no follow-up. I'm going to be good. I'm going to win the game. And by doing that, I'm going to put counters on Jackal. I'm going to destroy his Scythe. And when he attempts to use Baxia, I'm simply just going to negate and destroy it with Jackal King. So I actually cleared the entire board. No problem. No problem. Entire board cleared. And he can't enter battle because Jackal's higher attack than Baxia. And if he uses Baxia effect, I negate it and destroy it. And because Talents put back his follow-up, he can't do anything. I win the game. Unless he top decks something. And there's just no way he's going to top deck something. He's going to contract. Contract's going to get him. Who the heck plays this card? What the heck? What in the heck even is this? You can't just play Lamia like a normal person? And on top of that, you're playing this shit, Orthos? And this, and Lamia, huh? And he's gonna go into Diviner, Asbulu, whatever, this Divisor Mechanix. And he's gonna resolve Boxia. I have to negate this, unless he's gonna enter battle. I mean, he's dead anyways. So I get rid of that, only to lose the Boxia pop field spell, get O-Lion. Now he has a Baron that he put back. Who plays that shit? I, I would have won this game if he was a normal human being. But clearly, he's not a normal human being. I would have won that game. Sadly, I lose. That was the craziest match ever. We lost our opponent having the weirdest deck on the planet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't want to scoop. But I'm going to play at the very last life point. What a game, bro. What a game. Damn, my opponent got lucky as heck. I got to tell you, if you guys want to see my take on the Zephyr combo deck that I can promise he's way cooler than that. His, his deck was very cool. Mine will be even cooler. Let me know in the comments. Hope you guys liked the video. See you guys next one. Peace.